Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Spiegel Mum Scraps design team and yeah, <laughs> so I'm using some sequins today. So I had this idea, I really wanted to get stuck into some of the shimmers that I ordered from the Spiegel Mum Shap Scrap Shop as well. Um, so I thought I would kind of do a almost half and half layout with some pattern paper and some shimmers and I was really, really loving the... Uh, one of the more recent mixes which is Dose of Reality and it's got some really lovely blues and silvers and purples um, mixed in with it and it just reminded me so much of the Sparkle City collection so that's what I'm going to go with today and I've chosen this pattern paper it's like a dark blue with a bunch of fireworks and um, that pattern paper really mixes well with this collection if I add in a bit of pink and some teals as well so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to combine my sequins with shimmers and make it all kind of sparkly and pretty so I've ripped my, pretty much my paper in half and just torn it and made a bit of a V shape and curled those edges over and then I've done a layer of gesso on that white pattern paper I'm not going to bring those shimmers onto the pattern paper I want it to kind of stay clean and crisp as it is but I'm going to put a bunch of color down where that pattern paper meets the white cardstock so you can see me kind of going through that now I'll go through the shimmers I use the first one I'm using now is uh, royal purple and then I move into orchid stra um, these are all shimmers um, paints in the little tubs the little sparkly ones um, the pink one is pinko de mayo and then I go into uh, the blue is ultramarine, then I go into, I think it's Peacock Plume, is the next one, no I do Wisteria Lane and then Peacock's Plume, I move into the kind of um, jadey, tealy coloured, so I don't make you watch it all, I do live in quite a bit of it though, I'm just basically mixing it up in the pot, they need a really good stir because all of that kind of shimmery, glittery powder sits at the bottom, so when you give them a big stir, and I'm just basically picking up a little bit, putting it on some plastic packaging, adding a few sprays of water to thin it down because they're really thick, um, they're beautifully thick, <laughs> um, but I wanted them to move a little bit. So I'm adding a bit of water and then I'm just pushing that packaging down and I'm just kind of smushing it around. I like the randomness that um, the packaging gives versus a paintbrush application. So that's why I'm doing that. So now I'm going on to that light blue, which is Wisteria Lane. So I'm just giving that a good stir and just popping some on my brush and popping it on the packaging. A little goes a long way um, with this stuff, believe me. <laughs> okay, so just kind of continuing with that. Then I'm going to go into that uh, tealy coloured one, which is gorgeous, Peacock's Plume. It's just stunning. It is a beautiful green and then I've just wasted some all over my fingers but that's okay. So once I finish applying it all with the packaging <laughs> and cleaning up my mess, I do go back through them all and just add a few splatters um, with them. I don't water them down, I just basically pick up the colour directly out of the pot and uh, splatter it on. Um, yeah, so I'm just cleaning up that mess and I'm going to go add splatters. I've let it dry. And I've come back now with my photos. The photos aren't really anything special. Um, well, they're of my daughter, so of course they're special. <laughs> um, but it's not really um, like a big moment. I don't tend to scrap big moments um, a lot or big outings and stuff. I mean, we're dairy farmers. We don't have a lot of time to do big outings. But just the everyday things I love to scrap because those are the things that I find you tend to forget the most. Um, those big moments you really forget, they're kind of cemented in your mind, but those funny little random moments are the things that I love to scrap. So these are just photos of Eddie, she's sitting in the window, it's a sunny day, she's just chilling in her new little um, seat that she got, and <laughs> she thinks she's quite cool, <laughs> so um, that's what I'm scrapping, and the colours in the photo work perfectly, there's pinks and purples and blues, and yeah. So I've mounted them on a bit of uh, pattern paper, I think it's the back side of this uh, fireworks paper and then I've just quickly flicked through the die cut packs, there wasn't really a lot on there um, but I think Eddie was just kind of chilling out having lunch so I've popped in a few 
uh, random little bits like that, little lenticular piece that's a little soda cup and some candy floss. Um, <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't let my daughter have candy floss. <laughs> um, but it's just, yeah, a fun, a fun way to kind of coordinate that title. So I've pulled off the sticker sheet, late, Lovely and Day, and I'm going to make the title Lovely Lazy Day with you. So, yeah, that's a great way to kind of document <laughs> Um, those random little everyday moments so I'm just going to finish off that title shortly I do end up putting in some little alpha stickers to finish it off but I'm going to go through the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet see what I can find I did really like this light blue um not blue light pink piece I think it says beautiful um, I'm going to work that in somehow and I did briefly briefly contemplate um, I'm popping a whole bunch of embellishments on top of those shimmers and you can see I've kind of started there I've got the pink one down the bottom and then that coffee cup uh, thing whatever you want to call it <laughs> travel mug down there as well but then I quickly get that idea in my head which I'm glad I did because it would have just ruined um, the look in my opinion Okay, so I'm just shuffling that pink triple piece up. I did find a little puffy sticker. It was pink that kind of went with the stickers. Um, I think this one says shine. I think it's shine all day. And then I do pull another another sticker that says glow all night, I think. So I add that on the other, other side um, by the title. Yeah, so that's going to go over there. Just on a bit of an angle. When I get there, <laughs> there we go. Okay, just continuing to look through the little sticker books. I don't really want to overwhelm the page with too much. I really want the sequins and stuff to be the um, hero feature of this layout. So I'm just going to finish that title and spell out the words with and you. Just on a bit of an angle. Quirky little angle. So I'll pop it down you and I'm popping glue behind them because these I always find these little tiny Alphas like thickers never want to stay on the page. Just trying to find a home for that beautiful. I think I pop it up on top of that photo. Quite happy with it there. I'm going to stack a little label under it so I, I can pop my date on that later on uh, when I date my labels. I'm going to go through the rub ons and I do find some little a diamond shape. Uh, well they're not really diamonds, they're like little faux sparkles <laughs> in the colours that I'm scrapping with so I'm going to cut a bunch of them off and just kind of put them to the side I will add them down once I've popped my um, sequins on the page so, another fun bit <laughs> the sequins, I wanted to add a lot so this did um, take a while um, I did forget that I have to quickly glue down all my embellishments but we'll skip through that very very quickly because it's all rather uh, boring so I'm just tucking that piece in and we will skip through in a minute okay just about done there we go now we can do the sequins so I've pulled out the sequin mixes that I end up bringing in um, I use some a dose of reality I bring in some from Happy Vibes, which is a gorgeous pink one. Um, also a few from Ride the Tide, that's going to fill in that kind of uh, tearly coloured area. And I bring in some dark blue from the Earthy Treasures and some purples from the Trippy Tanzanite. So we've got a few um, mixes there. That's what I love about sequins is um, you may not have all the perfect sequins in one pack, but you are sure to find <laughs> the ones you were looking for in another. Um, they're just great things to add to your layout. They're so pretty. So all I've done is just grab my little fine line bottle with some Scotch tacky glue in. And I've just gone crazy and <laughs> put dots everywhere. It didn't really matter where they were because I wanted it to be completely random. I did focus the dots of glue a lot closer together at the top where the paper is torn. Um, and then kind of spread them out and been quite sporadic with them as they've gone down the page so you can see I'm just dotting a whole lot of glue and I'm just kind of filling them in I'm not doing too many dots ahead of myself because it's taken me a little while but I did find a trick with my tweezers I use my tweezers a lot <laughs> um, pick up die cuts and things like that um, I often don't have very long nails because like I said I'm a dairy farmer um, 
but my tweezers get used for just about everything and they get used to clean off glue they get on tape and they've kind of developed a bit of a sticky tip to them <laughs> which I, f I found to be um, <laughs> working to my advantage for this layout because I pretty much just tap the tip of my tweezers onto those sequins and pick them up and then they dropped into the glue beautifully <laughs> so um, yeah sometimes it pays to use your tweezers to clean up glue <laughs> Okay, so I skipped to I didn't make you watch it all. I did include some of the hearts that were in the Dose of Reality mix. I think it's from the Dose of Reality, yep. They were gorgeous, these little, I think they're acrylic um, hearts. So I've kind of scattered them around as well. Um, I did bring in some of the little um, sparkly silver bits as well and spread them around the page because they were just so pretty. And they were pretty much the same shape as the rub-ons that I'm going to add in a minute. So I'm just adding my last few little bits. I'm adding those hearts in now. Just picking them up, popping some glue underneath them, just spreading them all around and adding one down the bottom. Okay, quite happy with that. I'm going to add those rub ons on now. So, just the pink with the pink, purple with the purple, and so on. Just tone on tone embellishing. Just splitting them up. I want the blue down there, my light blue, underneath the blue, and that's it for my layout. So don't forget, if you want to get hands on some um, gorgeous sequins, use the code Virginia15 in the Speaker Mum Scrap Shop. But until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.